Welcome to Trevor Paddock. This is Off The Bar, brought to you by Green King Sport. I'm joined by Jay Motty. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. But off the, fresh off the back of a victory I'm against Chelsea. I'm basking in the glory You're basking of in... a 2-1 win over a team in 10th place in the Premier League. Get and it. I'm not even exaggerating, I'm basking in that glory. And Stephen Arsene's here as well. How are you, Steve? Yeah, I'm just wondering if we can bask in Kim Kardashian. Can we get a, can we get her in our nearest Green King? Well, the reason you're, you're asking that is because just down the road yeah. today yeah. is the what is it the Chanel's like international catwalk that's yeah. been put for some reason Thomas Street on Thomas yeah. Street. Well annoying. Yeah, just outside the Thai Massage. That's literally parlor. right near Shudo Bus that, Station. What's that the pub bus. called on a corner that none of us have ever had oh, the bollocks to go the in? The one that the windows are always open and it's always karaoke. Yeah, and everyone's always smoking inside. Is it the Millstones? In, Millstone. Yeah, the Millstone. Imagine Kate Moss and Kim Kardashian in just wandering millstone. into the Millstone after the Right, millstone. if you go into Millstone right now, you can probably buy a pie yeah. of another customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Any drugs that you want. Yeah. Or like a tiger or something. That's why I wouldn't risk it. I just go to a Green King Sport pub instead. Yes. However, we're not here to talk about Chanel because you know, as much as we, you may not think it, we aren't fashionistas on this channel. Well, you are. But we do. Love I think a bit. you've established we that. We do with your love attire a little bit years. of footy. He is a fashionista. Isn't I mean, I, I, he's definitely a northern quarter fashionista. He is, isn't it? You stink of the northern quarter, you. This you really absolutely is. reek of it. So this, much Birkenstock and car. Oh, this is awesome. mate, this, you uh, are. This is 100 percent wool, and it was reduced wool? from 200 pounds. Wool. Really? Reduced from? I didn't pay that. It is, is it? wool, yeah. Because uh, it's is wool. It wool? Not hemp. Yes, it's wool. So it's not man. woven from, from the pubes you know, from of a madman. Trees. It's, yeah, like everything else in northern quarter. That's true. Yeah, it's it's you, a shaman's chest hair <laughs> from the from the first century. <laughs> um, uh, but speaking of madness and madmen, <laughs> look, yeah. how, look how he's trying to keep it on top. the Premier League yeah, table. I, I can't. The, there's a fashion itself. week there. Yeah. It's, it's there. Well, we can go it's there. The, the, we can go afterwards. The I want to know the what Kim go. Kardashian's Greg's order is. I yeah. think me and you should proper cow power it and sneak on, sneak on that catwalk. Us, Sean, him, Sean. Yeah, right, Sean. That's what yeah. we Sean. Shall. Right, yeah. Shall. And that's what we want to see. Yeah, I want to see Joe yeah. strutting his shit, wearing your baseball. Oh, uh, literally a Greg's bag. Yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, there, you go, there, there you go, the there you go, there you go, that's what I'm hearing Where's about. Where's single? You don't need him, you don't need me, you need that. Come on, Wearing what, have hey, you got a look? Hey, hey, I just did it. Yeah, a it paper called? Greg's so, bag. It's called, uh, it's called a sausage roll. It's called the sausage roll, yeah. <laughs> the crystal like, glaze. The crystal glaze, <laughs> yeah. Like crystal maze, but yeah, I'm just like glazing crystal meth glaze. just in fashion mode. Oh, yeah. I went to a catwalk the other week. Go on. It was, well, I did, in Malaga. What? There's another catwalk there. They really? follow me around, Jay. You know what it's yeah, like. Yeah, uh, tell me about but yeah, it. Yeah, genuinely, we're walking through the middle of the street and then all of a sudden, catwalk. Nice. Big Did time. you stay for this fashion show? That's all right. No. Here, here's what I've yeah, observed from a distance about all these fashionista types. They wear sunglasses regardless of the weather. Yeah. So all you got to do is go and bang on a pair of Ray-Bans yeah. and then just go, yeah, 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 to a lot of people. Yeah. And right. you will fit right in. Yeah, and, when, and then yeah. you can get to drop that little Malaga yeah. story in. This yeah, yeah. isn't like the one I was in Malaga. I've just week. yeah, I've just come from Malaga didn't from see a you there. fashion show there. Did yeah. you not? Yeah. Did you not get an arm. invite? Yeah, yeah, hold my arm in such a yeah. way. And then when the person's looking at his clipboard, I just point to it with a wet finger so it yeah. smears the name. Yeah. And go, me. Yeah, and then walk past him. He said Joe Smith, and he goes, "That's a made-up name." Yeah, he goes, it, "He's probably one of the Versaches." <laughs> you know what I mean? If he's using Joe Smith, that's because there's a much bigger name at play here. So let's just let him in. Um, can and you wear sunglasses, and it's fucking drizzle. So yeah. we need to talk about football because okay. United are I tried. three points behind Man City. By by anyone's that's metric, not true though, is that's it? That's the title race. That's not true. You're making out. Why not? Because it can't be true. I know. Because, because I, we all watch the telly. We all read some of the papers. We all listen to the occasional bit on the radio. There's no way. Well, the ones that are banned. Yeah, which is a few and far between nowadays. There's no way after everything we've heard, read, and seen mm. that United are only three points behind. But aren't we in a crisis with fifty percent of the squad? That's what I mean. We're in a crisis apparently. We've half the squad have had enough, mm. and Manchester City are the greatest club team in the history of association football. Yeah, and we're well, three points miracles on an absolute shoestring. So and he's it's doing not it fairly. That we've caught him up exactly, and he's doing it fairly. Do you know what I mean? Unlike the rest of the, the Premier League, he's not cheating. They're not facing any charges. Initially, this seems like a good thing, obviously, because if you said after 15 <laughs> games you're three points behind City, that means you're probably near the top of the league. However, no, I'm not having it. It's not good why enough. You gotta, why you got to take a trip down the Howevers? Well, you know because I mean? it's, it's not good enough. Do it, Steve, Is this what we are today. now? Oh, we're, we're nearly behind. We're we're just a bit behind City. That's good. We're at one pathetic. win behind City. Hey, do you know what I mean? We're I'll just... tell you what that win should have been. What? Can Arsenal? Yeah. Yeah. FA robbed us. Or the Premier League. Yeah, whoever. Yeah, VAR. Take However, if if we reframe this slightly, yeah, 
We're three points behind City. Yeah. But in a way, that doesn't matter because they aren't finishing outside the top four, if you know what I mean. Okay. So we're not going to sort of usurp them. I can't see where we finish ahead of Man City. I think we will. So, so you know what's going to happen, right? Go on. <laughs> They're going to have this little rubble, and there might be another game, and I don't know who they've got next. But they no, might they've got an easy run now. Have they? The, the next game that they've got that's tough is Newcastle away, and it's in about six games. And before that, they've got oh, wow. they've got like Everton and Luton. Luton at home. Is it what? like twenty seven goals their in the next run, three games? Yeah. Their run is. It couldn't be easier. Straight for Paddock FC. No, Luton, it's, it's, Luton Town. Are we playing City, are we? I, I knew they was going to get fucking chopped down to the Cheshire League. Luton yeah. Town. Yeah. Savannah. We're actually playing Main Road this week. <laughs> I love that. We're actually, <laughs> we've actually got a chance. If Rodri suspended, I fancy our chance. <clears throat> Go on. Savannah's Vesda. I think that's Red Star, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is. Uh, then they've got Crystal Palace at home. That's a tough one. Brentford at home. That's a tough one. Everton away. Sheffield United at home. Huddersfield at home. Huddersfield. Is that the Champions League? That's who they yeah. fucking get in the Champions yeah, exactly. League. Exactly. Yeah. They Huddersfield are putting us in the Champions League. We got Bayern Munich. Who've they got? Huddersfield. Yeah. They've yeah. been in the Champions League. Sure. Yeah. Oh, they are. They well, they are something now. to do with the anyway, um, charges and that. And then they've got Newcastle away on the 13th of Jan. So basically, the next five weeks. Well, what I was going to say, Joe, I was going to say, they probably have like another game where they have a wobble yeah. and then win the next 20. Yeah. yeah. Scratch that. Next 20 it is. Yeah. yeah. So that was, I think that's what they did last season. I think they were a few points behind or ahead of where they were this time last season. Yeah. Um, but then they only lost two of the next 23 games in the league and, and won the league. The, the good thing for us, though. And one was? Is it? Wasn't us. Our, our run is easier. Our run is easier than theirs because if we got. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Only, you know, <laughs> Liverpool, Bayern Munich and all them lot. <laughs> Can um, you hey, do you know what I mean? We'll overtake them by uh, Christmas. Trust me. So our, our run, in comparison to theirs, yeah. is Bournemouth at home. Dece. Okay. Then it's uh, Bayern at home, mm -hmm. Liverpool away, West mm -hmm. Ham away, Villa, mm -hmm. uh, Forest away, mm -hmm. the only place where they win games. Then it's Wigan away yeah. in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, then it's Tottenham, Wolves away, West Ham again. I don't know how we're just playing them every other yeah, week. And then not? Villa away. How can we play Villa at home and away in two it's weeks? It's Claret and Blue season. Yeah, Disgusting. He's right. Yeah, we've got small Where's Burnley Claret in this conversation? That's what I want. And who else? It's called Dot. Yeah. 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 Um, Barcelona. Dagenham and Redbridge. Not Barcelona. They are. No. They're the same colours as West Ham and no one they? to admit it. Of course they are. No. Yeah. No. What are you going to call them? Cruyffy and Scarlet? No, red and blue. <laughs> it's fucking claret like, and blue. It's like royal blue and actual It ain't red. royal blue. They're burgundy and blue. They're burgundy I'll and sky with, blue. I'll, I'll meet you off and claret. <laughs> and we'll stick with the blue. Fucking claret. Anyway, so United. What is that anyway? Why is it claret? I don't know. Is that what I mean? That's what my dad called blood. Yeah. Only in fights, though. Claret yeah. all over the gaff. Yeah, yeah, it was claret everywhere. Yeah. So Bottom United's running. Someone dropped a red wine, did they? So I, I almost think we need to take <laughs> City out of this nice. and look at the other teams because. As much as it, I would like to, we aren't finishing with Man City this season. So our proximity. Oh, to really, them, Joe? But our proximity to them is almost irrelevant, really, when it comes to the top four. It's the rest of them we need to work out. Are you out saying of. it's like Kate Moss and, and um, Kim Kardashian yeah. being in a Northern Quarter yeah. with us? Yes. Yeah. Largely irrelevant. Yes. You're still not going to marry them. You know, they are well, literally Joe, a stone I'm already away. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason well, he's not going to marry him. Reasons, that's the only it? reason. No, he's no. already married and he's not going to commit bigamy. No. Exactly. Bigamy. Better than that. That's one of the most bigamy. biblical words ever. Bigamy. Hey. Right. That would be great on your bigamy, charge sheet, that, wouldn't it? Yeah, bigamy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, nice. Very good. Hey, bit of bigamy. Did you go to jail for that? Uh, I think you're doing ancient Mesopotamia. Really? I'm not sure you're doing Just get a fine nowadays. Yeah. Just a slap on the wrist. Probably from your wife. I don't know. The other team must pay you fine. No. She's got bigger fish to fry. You know I mean? The other teams Go out, in and around us are Tottenham Hotspur, Aston Villa, Liverpool and Arsenal. We're not looking back at Newcastle. Who can I, go I think you're fighting for fourth. Exactly. Me because too. Because I, I think <laughs> Arsenal are basically in a title race. As yeah. much as we all hate to admit it, I think their defence is genuinely good this year. Yeah. And that's a worry. So unless Saliba gets injured. I don't know, just fucking gets lost. Yeah. And yeah. Or injured like he did last season. Last season it, it, it he scuppered them, didn't it? Um, I think they're probably in the mix. I don't think they're going to win it. But they'll be, certainly be in the mix. I think Liverpool probably finish above Arsenal. Um, and I think they just look got a weird vibe about them. Yeah, I think they put them in at third. And okay. I think City win it. Okay. <laughs> I think City literally just, dis like, they just wake up one day and go, shall we stop fucking about yeah, yeah. and just start winning every game again? The only way I don't think they will is if, it's uh, their Rodri's availability is, 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 is Rodri in it. It's only Rodri. That's yeah. it. Well, it's no, literally Rodri. But they've got a bit of a stacking effect now, haven't they? Cause nah. Because Bruyne's out, Rodri's out, Grealish was out. Um, Grealish, Doctor. irrelevant, fucking KDB, they replaced him with some fucking, like, the kid off goal. And, like, yeah. Rodri is 
the one that they actually miss. It's mad that they've had, Rodri's missed, is it five games this season? Yeah. And, or four they games. They haven't won any of them. Yeah, I think they lost, didn't they lose the three, they was the, the domestic cup, the Carabao Cup, sorry, and then the two in the league, whatever it was. They lost all three of them and they lost against Villa. That's mental. It is mental. Because you think they'd be all right to yeah. at least draw one of those games. Especially him. when when you think like, yeah, he's a good player, but he's not like winning also them the game as well. like a Haaland is or whatever. And the, yet he is well, winning he's, them the game. He's, he's, he's what he does is goes under the radar. And you make, and it makes like you realize, Amrabat. Yeah, well, we'll talk about Amrabat in a second because I do want to get into that. So we're not catching Arsenal. We're not catching Liverpool. We're not catching City. Right then. So, so we're fighting for four. So it's between us, Newcastle and Tottenham and Villa. It mm. is now, yeah. Mm. That's that's that is the final well, four. Are we still it, feeling it, like fifth is going to be Champions League? I would that's say next so. Next season, isn't it? Is it not this season? It's next season. Oh. Are you joking, man? <laughs> next. Season. So if you finish fifth at the end of this season, Europa. Oh, for God's sake! I thought Welcome was, to I thought Panathinaikos. I thought if the Premier League provides one or two top performers for the nation in the 2023-24 Champions League, that's us. The team finishing fifth will earn a UCL spot in 24-25. So what the fuck does that mean? So it means it's Next this season. season. This season. If, what was the if though? If we, we have beat the a, a good coefficient, which we've had, I think, seven of the eight. Basically, seven of the last when eight City years. win the Champions League, beating Liverpool in the final, fourth and we get top, fifth. Fourth gets the, top the, four. The, yeah, the bonus fifth. is we're in the Champions League because yeah. of it. If you finish fifth, you get top four. Yeah. So that's, that's what we're going with all summer. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically <laughs> That's it. our plan. Tis the season for festive football, and the best way to watch it, down at your local Green King Sports pub, of course. After all, Christmas is the time to catch up with friends, old and new, to get the team together at your local for the refreshing price, price? Refreshing pints, delicious food, and live action of every Christmas cracker. There it goes. Every fixture from TNT, Sky and Amazon is live at Green King Sport and that means wall-to-wall -wall action on the huge HD screens. Head over to your local Green King and watch every winning goal, top bin volley and dodgy VAR decision in an atmosphere that is worth sharing. Download the Green King Sport app and you'll get 10% off drinks every single time there's sport on the telly. Uh, okay. Question one, can Aston Villa win the league? No. no. Okay, good point. I agree with you. People were saying last season, last night, because they dominated, night. they dominated City, obviously. Um, you know, it's not just a top four race now; it's a title race for Aston Villa. What's mad is that they're good because Mings ain't playing. Mm, really? Because he's good. shit. But I was. I'd love it. I'd love it if we beat them. I'd, I'd absolutely love All it. All right, Keegan. If Villa, nice. I'd, I'd love it if Villa uh, won it, just because it'd do Arsenal. Fans. Oh, I did. genuinely. That if that's even remotely down. possible, yeah. I'm gonna start moving in with Maka. Yeah. yeah. Like, and that's how we're fucking moving this summer. The are was, you mad? You've got the options of the free fucking horsemen of the apocalypse, City, Liverpool, and fucking Arsenal after getting one of their hands on one for 20 fucking years. Or up to fucking Villa. I always like Peaky Blinders. Let's fucking go, lads. Yeah. Steve Stone and Reds, here we go. Or hey, Clarets. And it, the icing on the cake is the manager, was the uh, the ex Arsenal manager. So that'll just rub it in a little bit more for them. I was looking at the possibility of, of No, this it happening. isn't. And the last time a team. More chance of me potting cake. Uh, Moss. Uh, the last time a team won the league <laughs> with less than 80 points Potina. was 25 years ago. So that ain't happening. So Villa have to get a minimum of 80 points this season. That team was the Manchester United treble team. It was. 79 points. Nice. Correct. And then Arsenal won it with 78 in, in the year before. And United won it with 75 the year before. My God, did teams drop a lot of points yeah. in the, in no, the late no, 90s. No, it was. It was a competitive league. Yes. So that means Villa are going to have yeah. to get a and minimum of 80 points. Competitive as well. Villa are going to have to get a minimum of 80 points. The last time a team that wasn't Leicester got 80 points from outside the big six was Blackburn in 1995. Oh, so, so even the chances of them getting 80 points, which probably won't win in the league, are very, very slim. It's very, very hard to do. Well, but, you know, we've been here before, haven't we? In 2016. You realise how mad that Leicester won't do it. Because well. hey. Blackburn mm -hmm. got 80 points the year before they won it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then Villa won it. in Europe as well. Uh, or are they not? I'm not sure if they are. are they? Mate, just do all, 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 all we have to do, what you've got to do is you've got to step back. Yeah. You've got to take stock yes, and realise really how shite Steven Gerrard must have been as a manager. Because mm. <laughs> that's his team. Yeah. That's his team. And he, he was like, I'll get you lot into the championship. Mm. <laughs> Champions League? <laughs> huh? Championship. La. Is that one of the, is that like the yeah, one but, below Europa League? But don't forget, he turned around at Old Trafford to look at the crowd, remember? Stared. Yeah, he cold. stared. It was cold. cold. That was so cold. It was. Hey, there was so many stairs. You know what I mean? It was like, so many cold. stairs. Hey, he might have took him to relegation. His expected stairs was like, like through the... You can't through, buy that. Hey, no, I'll tell you no what, one can match he that. He is abysmal. He is, isn't yeah. he? He's terrible. 
But it's good though, because he's loving life and you know, he didn't do it for the money. I love <coughs> that he had to do that. Oh, by the way, we need to do an entire episode on that because everyone has glossed over it. Basically, he's got to Saudi to get a big old truck of money. And I, almost, and I don't blame him, right? Because it is what it is. But you know that he definitely does not like or rate or ever want to speak positively about Cristiano Ronaldo. No. And he had to go on yeah. video I'm not saying there was a gun to his head, no. but it might be one in the room. There was a goat to his head. <laughs> yeah, the sound of and he was like, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's our goat. We call him the goat. Oh, honestly, I watched it and went, ah, what is this? So horrible, that is. It was it? bad, innit? So you can cringy. see the pain in his eyes. We call him the goat. Mate, you Who's played we? against him and he's this, beating you to league titles in script. England. How do <laughs> yeah. you not feel That's so That's it, isn't it? Like, he's not in any 2009, so like, yeah. Gerard would have won a league if it weren't for Ronnie. He's not there for the money. He's there for the 400 fans that go and watch him every week. Do you it's know what I mean? That's what he's doing it's it terrible, for. It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, We've speak, had more at Paddock. Speaking I'm, of... I should hope uh, so. was in the crowd. Yeah, I loved it. Speaking of, of, of I was there that day. Over at midfielders, who turned managers who were absolutely not bad. Brilliant. Joey Barton's on a bit of a not... You know, has he where, just decided he doesn't want any more jobs? I don't know. When's the last time someone saw him? I reckon he's just in a shed, like somewhere near Nottingham, just tweeting his tits off. Well, well he, did he was meant to be on Vibe with Five of he was. with us on Monday. Was Shut it? Up. Yeah, and he really? said he decided he got rearranged. To just and literally, I was sitting there sexist. thinking, I'm going to have to bring this up. What was the young man called that got murdered? Um, was, it, was it Michael? Andy Walker, sorry, forgive me. I think it was Andy Walker. Andy or Anthony? Anthony. He got murdered. Double check that. I'm pretty sure it was Andy Walker. Anthony murdered Walker, yeah. on his way home. 15 year old boy. I think he was 18 year old. A level student. On his way home with his girlfriend. Gets a load of racial, racist abuse at the bus stop. Walks off. He's followed in a car by these thugs who call him the N-word and the C-word as well, the racist C-word, mm -hmm. um, murder him with an axe and leave him for dead. And Joey Barton, his family, I think it was one of his family members, was one of the lads who went down for it, was speaking about it on a podcast the other week and he said, oh, you know, he got in a scrap. Bit of a scrap. And then he lost 17 years so, of his life. So the racist murder of some random fucking innocent kid yeah, some has just been sort of diminished down to a scrap. Yeah. So I, I saw that and I was like, hmm. So on Vibe with Five, they sit me next to the guest. Right. And I was thinking, well, I'm bringing it up. Good lad, yeah. lad. I'm bringing this up. Yeah, damn right. Um, and then he, he got rearranged. Did it get rearranged because of that? Because there was, no. a, there was a massive no, backlash. I did send that in and go, have you seen this? And he went, he's already rearranged. So oh. I don't know if he would he'd been rearranged. Okay. I don't. Did we mention there that it was Joey Barton's brother? So I can't remember his family member. Yeah. I wasn't sure which. Is it brother Michael? That, I, I think it might be. Yeah. But he did. A, I remember him doing an appeal for him because he went on the run. But the way he worded it was he lost so many years of his life. It was all and it was a scrap. Yeah. And I think the Andy yeah, Walker it was the, it was the diminishing of it down. That. Like you put a fucking axe through someone's head on a street. Yeah. yeah. For. For what? For no reason at all. Because well, um, they were black and they were his racist. Well, yeah, that, that was, was the reason, sole that was reason. It. Yeah. it was a racist attack. So that that already got him in a, a, quite a, a, a lot of hot water in the last week or so. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been largely controversy free throughout his career as well. Yeah. And, and then, it's, it's, and then it's, in the this last is few days, to me. he's gone sort of full Matt Letitia meets Andrew Tate and become this kind of conspiracy, women are shit and they shouldn't be talking about men's football because they're shit type bloke. <laughs> what? What, where does that? What, that, that sums it up quite well. Yeah. That is yeah. literally it, isn't it? Yeah. A woman should never comment on men's football because men aren't quite, women aren't quite as good as men at football. But so they've they also got their own on. game. Was his whole thing? Yeah, they've got their own game. And what? <laughs> what? That's just so dumb. I don't know where to start. Like honestly, for starters. Women don't even have to have played football to comment on it. Yeah. Like, like that's what? Every you don't have to have played football lead to lead commentators in the haven't country. Haven't played football. Or journalists. Yeah, or actually the fact that every fucking fan uh, what is it? The ninety nine point nine 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 percent of fans are professional. Exactly. Football. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. So <laughs> that, what you're just saying? Only professional footballers can comment on football, and also women who've played professional football have played football to a much higher level than men who haven't. Yeah. And also they know what they're talking about. You only have to watch someone like Alex Scott, who has got over hundred caps for England, has a degree in the media. He's obviously mint at a job to know she understands football as and also, well. Have you listened to? Some of the fucking blokes that oh have played God. football. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I got to give a shout out. I rarely give a shout out to uh, to Talksport. It's usually one of the first on the hit list. However, what? Simon Jordan. Uh, let me get the exact phraseology that he used yeah. because he shut Graham Sunes down with hands down the best line, and Sunes just had a 
he just blinked in really? response. Oh, it was amazing. Let me find it. Obviously, you know Simon Jordan, who never played football. And then Sam compare him to Gabby Agbonlahor, who did. And you know, he, I know who I'd rather be sort of listening to when it comes to this. It's so, just don't, such a don't ridiculous let, angle. Yeah, listen to this, listen to this. So I'll, I'll play this here. So, so Sunes has had a go at players and he's saying it was difficult to manage certain players nowadays. I don't know if he just means the black ones or all of them. Yeah. Um, because he's got a bit of form, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know if he just means whatever, but he's, basically it's hard work managing players. So uh, here's what Simon Jordan hits him with. It's brilliant. Hey, who? Graham about f players in this day and age are quite precious and difficult to manage. Yet you yourself are grandizing nitwit, just sat there. I'm to pause like that. Self-aggrandizing nitwit. <laughs> That's a, it's nitwit. a lovely start. Just yeah. filter that in at the start. I love that he sat made your six feet from him yeah. and called yeah. him a self-aggrandizing nitwit. Yeah. I am um, here for it. Yeah, love I'm, that. I'm almost ready to delete all of my talk sports tweets. Almost, not quite. Cool. He carries on. Earlier on telling me that the moment you got dropped, you had a tantrum put in a transfer request and went and drank gin and tonics at the bar i wasn't dr <laughs> there you go beautiful beautiful so now you know oh it's a problem when a, a, a footballer dances on a TikTok. but when he gets dropped he kicks off gets bladdered and hands in a transfer request <laughs> yeah, that's, that, hell. That, should have done yeah. it like that these days well do you know what players back then were easy to manage yeah they were <laughs> They just got absolutely shit faced when you didn't play them once. <laughs> That's brilliant. Ridiculous. Through a tantrum. But this is Through a tantrum and went and got smashed. People become... Gin and tonic as well, Graham. <laughs> I know what's a lot about. How dare you Slim pretend line. to be Scottish? Hey, yeah, disgusting. What Scotsman was like, oh, the gin and tonic? Yeah. Yeah. What? Because he's become ruled by this idea that the, the younger generations aren't as hard and aren't as good and aren't as tough as us. Yeah. So everything they do shit and everything we do is ace. When actually, you're doing the same stuff that you don't like them for. Yeah, but yeah. however though, how did. many times have you seen a modern midfielder pass it back to the keeper from the halfway line? Yeah, not very often. And exactly. the keeper picks it up, rolls it back to him and kick it back to him and he picks it up again. It's just, I don't understand this whole thing. And especially someone like Joe Barton, who's been, he's almost like tried to reinvent himself a few times hasn't he yeah. like the, the Joseph Barton with the glasses and he's talking French now he's back to just he's talking Joe French Barton. which is that when he gave Sorry, a French accent English, in English, English accent. Accent. that's not well, I don't like, know if it's Hollywood films you see that, that, that is, French, that's how it? they speak French in Hollywood yeah, yeah. exactly that's how, they, that's how I speak French <laughs> yeah. in a restaurant in France hola yeah. Hello. Oh, I am here to talk to you <laughs> what yeah so he's he's just notoriously a knob yeah and he's continuing to be a knob but almost slightly unhinged levels of like just Do you know what the sad thing it? is it'll be really interesting to see how the fallout is yeah yeah because it's sad because i wonder if he's okay. there was a stage where i didn't mind him yeah i didn't like if he, there was a couple of times when he like he spoke up and think about the john terry thing and a couple of other instances where you think he's not as much of a knobhead as he's made out to be but then when you scratch beneath the surface and you see all the catalog of stuff he's done he is a knobhead like there's there's so many things he's it's done one of the 115 go, wow. charges against manchester city that they fucking Bought him a new house when he got sent off against him in the game to win the title. Oh, I'd love it if it was. Did that happen? I'm that. asking a question, John. Wouldn't be casting aspersions on anyone's financial. I like, I like the fact that it was it Neda Manua did an article in the MAN saying, in an ideal world, we'll stay up and now win the league. Yeah. A week and before one, it happened. And once he realised that they were going to stay up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some would say that was a tackle that he made towards Aguero. Others may disagree. Yeah. Very interesting Maybe indeed. Bentley, you got that? Mm. Um, interesting. Speaking of midfielders, let's. Sof <laughs> Sofian Amrabat you want to talk about him you were, I saw you defending him and say defending him praising him on, on social media last night I thought he had by far his best game for United I think it was his first game where I'd say other than a couple of times when he was at left back and he looked pretty solid where I'd say he had a very good game for Man United I thought it was one of the match I, I like, what, I like up there. what you did when you praised it because you compared him to another player I don't know if it's just appearance or the fact the performance but another player number who, four who, yeah, all dead. who don't get credit I loved I loved Fron. I absolutely love Compared him. Compared um, to Theron. Yeah. Joe, I'm going to put something towards you. Oh, oh dear. So, if I'm about being man of the match last night. Right. Okay, controversial. Manchester United's best performance of the season. Okay, so what you're saying is the reason we've been shit is because Amrabat's not been at it. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> so, what, you think <clears throat> so that position has been lacking this season is what you're saying? Uh, no, I don't think that. It fucking clearly yeah, has I, been. I completely agree with <laughs> you. I thought he was... <laughs> completely agree. I, I mean, I know I'm in the minority, but I was surprised he got took off in the derby, if I'm being honest. Mm. Like, I know we weren't exactly setting the world alight in that first half, but he was doing a job. How fit's he been, right? This guy was out, was and injured. And it was just like, there was he a big hole he came off. He comes, he's got to adjust to a, a league that is gears faster than yeah, Italian yeah. football, 
And maybe it took a minute. He said to that. Adapt. He said that last night after the game. He yeah. said, I, "I had no preseason, and it, you know, it takes you a while." Pretty much what you said, word for word. I, I, I have. Yeah, I've seen I'm paraphrasing, movie. but he pretty much said that because I had me news this morning about the fact that he had no preseason. It took him a while to adapt because it, the, the Premier League is one of the. I well, it's the toughest league. Shit, it's up. Yeah, it? yeah, he was. He, he was everywhere. Yeah. We saw Ronaldo last season. I know he's 38, but took like one of the fittest footballers of all time. Be terrible in the Premier League because he didn't have a proper pre-season yeah, yeah. and then obviously he left and it, you know he seems to be back at it now but like pre-season matters for everyone every football every ex-footballer ever has said if you don't get a good pre-season you are struggling for the whole year yeah. like it is it is a big thing and other than that one time where he, he tried to let them score a goal by passing the ball away in the middle of the just air. making sure everyone was alert mate. yeah exactly leadership doing his best Fred impression <laughs> other than that I thought he was excellent yesterday <clears throat> Look, looking ahead a little bit then let's let's assume and obviously this is a big assumption we can get performances similar to that out of him once a week twice a week what's your midfield when everyone's fit and do you think you well, know, the, we the need to resh is, like, reshape things he now? still can't play on his own no like when we go on field if it's Scott McTominay Bruno and Amrabat well, lube up, lads, because mm. it's not going to be pretty. Um, I think I'd like to see Menu alongside him. At the moment, I'm still seeing a basketball game yeah. out of a lot of our matches. And I would like us, and I'm sure Ten Hag is thinking that as well. I'd like this to not be a basketball game. Mm. Because while you, you know, while you, I think Maguire defensively has looked pretty good last five or six weeks. Clear that up. Send it me, don't even tweet it, just send Pretty it Pretty good. Me. Last five or six can weeks. Can you have a video? In, in, in spells. Yeah, can you have a video with your mobile phone background? Because I want that <laughs> to just be playing on a loop for um, the next 10 weeks. We still get caught out on the halfway. We still get caught out in a transition. And you know, there was at times against Chelsea where we were still well vulnerable yeah. with, uh, with it coming through the centre of that. And I think if you eliminate that, you actually eliminate a lot of the times where United give up chances. So mm. I think that if you can get like Menu and Amrabat to sort of cover in front of the defence. Because let's be honest, but somebody's provided, and this is this is the question of all questions at the moment, yes. is does Eric Ten Hag want to go fuck it and goals, mm -hmm. or does he want to get controlling? Because you can't have both, I, I don't think, at the moment. Well, well, Scott McTominay has found himself in what I like to call the Fellaini paradox, yeah. where you can't control the game with him, but you can't score goals without him. So what do you go for? Like, that's the question you're asking. It's there, literally, it? I what don't, do you favour? Like, I, th I mean, Scott McTominay won man of the match, I think, yesterday by the virtue of the fact that he scored the two goals that win you the game, which fair and enough. And probably could have had three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. could have had, definitely had a third but with that left footed one. But positioning when we're transitioning is non-existent. He doesn't show for the ball. Again, I say it every doesn't week. Make His number of passes doesn't after get on the, the game ball. is that half of the other midfielders yeah. every is week. It worth he the doesn't get on though? the ball in our half that's either. The I don't know if that's then, deliberate or not, but he, he ain't on the ball in our half. But this is where, like, I think jo Jose got to at one point where it's like, I don't want to be the sort of team that needs a Scott McTominay. Yeah. But when he doesn't play, we don't score. Like when he plays, we score, and when when he doesn't, we don't. So what do what does he do? He's fighting for his job. You know, if he loses, let's say we draw to Bournemouth, go out of the Champions League, whatever the result, and lose and lose badly to Liverpool, that might be it for him. So you can't be almost like right. Let's take him out, bring Manu in, or you know, when Mount gets back, we'll bring him back in. Because if we just don't score and Rashford and Garnacho and uh, Anthony and Hoyland carry on not really scoring the, very often, he'll get sacked. Is there a scenario, Anfield, where you, I'm not saying you should, but I'll ask you the question, bring in Maynou and shift Bruno to the right wing at the Spence Manor? Uh, yeah. Is that an option? There's also a fucking chance that Bruno will be suspended. Why? Is he off? One he's off four yellows. Oh, it? fuck off. Really? He's gonna get he's gonna get a yellow in like the ninety third minute in it against Bournemouth mm -hmm. for arguing. When does that reset? Is it Christmas. Not sure. Okay. We can't. Oh my god. So, don't don't tell um, me that. Yeah. So what what are you thinking then? Uh, if you're the manager now, are you saying go to Anfield? Well, no. The next three games. So you got. <laughs> tell me when you got, got seven players available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> COVID. You know. We've all got COVID again. Yeah. COVID. You, yeah. We haven't played that card for a bit. Yeah. We were due on that. We'll take three nil. COVID. The game abandoned. Two nil loss. Three nil loss. Okay. We'll take that. Yeah. But are you? immediately trying to transition away from McTominay or you accept him where we are at the minute with injuries and with the fact that he's I, I genuinely think it, it depends on Bruno because I think you could get away with McTominay in the 10 if you haven't got a Bruno because mm. he's just going to crash basically 4-4 four, four fucking 2 innit and let's just four, crash bang wallop four, fucking see two. what happens or play him as a striker 
Like, li- literally depends on what everyone else is doing. Because mm. like I agree. Wait, Scott is a strong. Scott McTominay is a strong. Yeah. But when you see that, when yeah. that's team I, sheet I, gets I'm announced worried, against I'm Liverpool, that's but we, it depends on the circumstances. Insane. Twitter sacks Tenard <laughs> before the game. It depends on the circumstances. If Hoyland's had a knock yeah. and you got a draw, well, yeah, this is why. Like, everything has got context to it. You can't eliminate context from anything. So, I, I think, you know, is... Is Bruno suspended? Well, that's why he played. Like, you can't just look at this on Premier League years in five years' time and be like, fucking de- Tell you what, December it's a rolled really around. Messi to Marshall and Rashford, if you say to them, Scott's leading the line today. He's what? the fucking leading scorer at the club. I'm yeah. sure they'll see that. That's way. all you got to do. I'm why sure is he playing in front of me? Come here, let me show you this. <laughs> see that? That's called a net. <laughs> you two ain't fucking seen it all year. <laughs> This fucker, he knows where it is. Club and country, by it, the way. Do you know what? It'd be worth it just for the Twitter meltdown. When that team sheet goes out, is announced, or the, the leaks start coming out in the morning. I think Scott McTominay's going to be up front. And people Fuck going, is off, it for? is it? Shut up, not a chance. And then it's announced. And then we're done. It's Senegal. a midfield of, what, go on, what's the midfield? It's like Mount, Maynou, Amrabat. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> and then it's 1-0, Scott McTominay, 83rd minute. Mate, imagine that. Fucking... <laughs> build build <laughs> Eric Ten Hag a statue <laughs> right now. It's mad, isn't hey. it? When you look at, I think, first if 10 games, happens. our top scorer was Casemiro. And mm. now after sort of 20 odd games, it's Scott McTominay. Two sort of de- defensive And the, both of them have been criticised for their performances this season. Yeah. I don't think anyone is sitting here going, Scott McTominay has been phenomenal this season. And no one was saying Casemiro had. They're both saying the goal missing in midfield, they're not getting on the man, ball enough. I'm working on a <clears throat> McBallon door tweet, but you know, you do. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember you feeling my head outside the eight yard when I said <laughs> Fellaini should get the ballon d'Or because we've got a nil nil against there. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just worried about that, the, the front three. I can't. I don't know why they none of them can score in the league. What's, what Fuck is that? me, they had enough chances like that. Was no, it 28 no. shots? No. Yeah. And after that first God. 15 minutes, you thought, yeah, this is happening now. They'd all had a shot on target. It looked lively. You think Robert Sanchez was having a bit of a wobbly one. You think this is happening? No. Almost as many as fucking Dealey Plaza. Nice. Interesting. It was mad, wasn't it? I just, I don't know. And I, I, I hate this thing where... You, when, if you start losing games, people start going, why is he still playing McTominay? Why is he relying on McTominay? Think, well, he's our top scorer. Yeah. So you can't pull him out and then these you get sort of latched and attached to these win. players. You literally can't win. So he goes, he, he goes, because this is the fucking madness. Like, it, Maynou and Amrabat is a mad midfield, but it might work. Mm. But we have no idea because he's never fucking had the chance to see it. But if he does that and it don't work, which it probably won't fucking work, yeah. certainly against Liverpool at Anfield, let's be honest, that's a fucking... That's a Liverpool win even when we were good. Yeah. So when it doesn't work, everyone will just be, why didn't you play McTominay? Like you, no matter what happens, the other thing was the idea. Yeah. Yeah. If you still play him and lose, well, what the fuck? Well, it's like you say sometimes for. there isn't a formula that the manager can find that would win you that game. Some yeah. games are unwinnable. Some games are just the quality isn't there. You haven't got the players available that you need and you're playing no, a team that are much better. what we need better. is a VAR shit in a bed and Liverpool losing their fucking melons yeah. over it. So That's like how that, we're going to win it. That'd be nice. Yeah, like you said, even in, <clears throat> what, the 2000s, Anfield was a horrible game that we often would lose. And like when you look at Wanfield, which for me was our best performance post Fergie, I thought it was amazing. Like we had some players there. You, you know, you're getting a tune out Fucking of one matter, Wayne Rooney. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? These are top players. Chris it's like Marlin. Chris Moore, like, <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, <laughs> Now you're looking at it, you're going, uh, mm. uh, we've got no goals in our front three. Uh, our defender was dropped and we tried to sell him six weeks ago, whatever it was. <laughs> and now he's like, uh, you know, our most important defender. Well, What's going on here? Joel's got a fucking mural of him in his front room. Yeah, Joel, 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 Joel Smith. Well, <laughs> it, it, painting it, his it, front room with him. Who? Harry Maguire. It was a mural of me, but it, it, I'll be honest, it wasn't that hard to sort of turn into Harry Maguire. Rub the, rub the, the beard, beard off. Yeah. That's it. Um, is it, can I shock you? Yeah, go on. Man United have got one more point now than they did after the same amount of games last season. I hate that stat, though. How is that possible? Because... Do you know what? Because you fucking play a league in isolation. It doesn't matter how many points you got last year. It doesn't matter how many points you get next year. All that matters is what you got. And like, we could have won the fucking league with 81 points. All right, then. Yeah. If we'd have been 99. The, the trouble, the reason... But the it only, wasn't, and it was Ashley Young's year. The only reason I don't like that stat is because last year we beat, by this time, we'd beaten Liverpool, mm-hmm. we'd beaten Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I don't know, and how, we hadn't fucking do. shit the bed in Europe. That'll do for yeah. me. But how can we beat Liverpool if we haven't played him yet? 
Right, well, we can. And, and there's my second point. We were also in the same position. So it's yeah. not as though, you know, this season... I felt like last season we had the big wins, didn't we? Yeah, like, no, we like did. yeah. You had a brand spanking new defender. That were really good. Yes. You had a brand spanking new midfielder. It was really we had good. We a brand yeah. new Rashford. Yeah, Rashford's yeah, brand new Rashford banging that. in goals all of a sudden. So I saw this the other day. Someone went, oh, Rashford was only fucking good after Christmas. And I was like, well, that's a lot of bollocks. Because I remember moaning how he wasn't starting at the World Cup because I was like, he's just rounded yeah, into yeah. form. And he was England's top scorer at the World Cup. Cup. Yeah. Top score. He wasn't. He wasn't just good after Christmas. That no, isn't that's true. Just, it's nonsense. He hit that like ridiculous. What was it? Eight home game goals in a row. He would have had nine money if it weren't for that VAR one. Yeah, disgusting. Just on on Rashford Garnacho. Obviously, Rashford dropped. Garnacho came in. I again on Garnacho. I thought it was probably his most mature game, maybe that I've seen him have at all for United, let alone this season. Because sometimes, I've said it before, one criticism I have of him is he just gets it and just sprints at his, his defender. And yeah. that's exciting and it's fun, but sometimes you, you lose possession, you lose control. I thought we actually saw a more composed, you know, playing the overlap to Luke Shaw, cutting inside, playing pass. He looked like a proper winger last night, yeah, I thought. He looking Luke Shaw and yeah. Regulon. I don't think Regulon got enough credit for last night. Yeah. But he had, he had fullbacks, willing and able to get him beyond. And that's such a massive asset for a winger. When a winger has to go 1v1, or actually 2v1, two, two because that's how, how it is for him normally. While well, a fullback just sits there and be like, well, yeah. sort it out. That's hard work. Mm. When you have Luke Shaw, who is a threat, underlapping into the box and yeah. he dummies it, you've got to take it seriously as a defender because if it does go to Luke Shaw around the corner, we're yeah. in the shit. Yeah. And I, th I think that helped him. But I also think that he, was, he does some stuff. He, I would describe him as a bit of a street footballer. Yeah. He's, he's full of the spectacular. Like, I bet he is a fucking nightmare at Power League. Yeah. An absolute fucking yeah, you're nightmare. definitely I bet kicking he's seven fucking, bells out of him, Yeah, yeah. There's no, no way I mean, he walks off the pitch no. at, at Power League. But he doesn't do what academy players do. So academy players have had it coached into him. And I guarantee you'll both answer this correctly. So you pass it to a winger. And he's received it maybe side on or facing you. And then two players come over to him. What does he do? Pass it back to his yeah. fullback. Pass it back. That's because that's what he's been trained. You yeah. get 2v1, to the you send there. it back. What are you going to do? In your turn. Roll one of them and try and yeah, fucking beat him on the off. outside <laughs> yeah. and get it. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. Like, because he's just coming with like a different pattern. He's just seeing shit that hasn't been trained out of him. He plays with um, an edge about him. Mm. And I think that'll lead him to, he's gonna end up with as, as many red cards as fucking like player of the month, I'm sure, yeah. minimum. But he's gonna end up with some goals of the month because he doesn't fuck about, like he tried another over a kit oh, last bless night. Him. He's like, pull one of these off, piece of piss this, let me do it this You know when Rooney kept doing them after the City one as well? Yeah, he yeah. just did three or four for the rest of the season. Like, mate, it is a once in a career yeah, thing. Forget this. It. Don't even ever try yeah. it again because yeah. that's you. Just call it a day and yeah. be like, yeah, I did that. But yeah, I think Ganacho is a very exciting player and I agree it was a quite a mature performance, but it was, there was stuff he was doing that I was really impressed with. I thought Cucurella had a good game. Poch disagrees, obviously, fucking hooking him off at half-time. Yeah. But I thought Cucurella was a, was a tough opponent for him. And I tell you what, who wasn't? Reese James. No, he had a looked stinker. shocking when he came on, I thought. Apart from the fucking goal save. Yes. He, he did Quite look. key, wasn't it? Yeah. No, but other than that, but like, it, it was weird watching him last night. When it, it, like, I rate Reese James, and he's just looked like... James was going to me. I've never really watched Reese James. Is he any good? And I was like, yeah, yeah, he's really good. Um, it was like, so what's good about him? And I went, really silly pace. Like mm, he's yeah. he's got really good recovery pace. I said he's pretty fucking tidy and technical. And then we're just watching him getting fucking megged. He's, he's so fucking oh, honestly, I've never seen him play like that, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit in terms of his kind of very technically good. Yeah, like got good the ability, on the ball, just black natural ability. Him, <laughs> you know, slightly on the sort of thicker side, both of them. Both like, got bones. an order that they have at Greg's. Yeah, yeah, yeah both got the usual, sir. <laughs> when they go into their local uh, takeaway. But he's got that real sort of smoothness to him that Luke Shaw's got. Um, <clears throat> would you bring Rashford back no. for, for, for Bournemouth? No. Or for Bayern? Or for no. no. I, I think what, if you're picking on form yeah. at the moment... What's the then, timeline? Like, look, the, the performances of Anthony, which we haven't spoke about, but the performances of Anthony and Garnacho should have yielded. And on another game, one of them comes away with two, and the other Talk comes away with three. Because he's got... Very little except criticism this season. I think probably rightly so. Yeah, yeah. I've, last I've not few been games, it, if I mean, you, what the fuck's he been called? Fidget spinner. <clears throat> yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. last yeah. few games, I think we've Good seen nickname. a slightly different nice. player. Well, I think you've always had work rate with him, and I think that's yeah. why Ten Hag persisted with him. 
even when he was cutting inside and doshing one over the bar. I yeah. think he persisted with him because the work rate was always there. He would always trap back and he would always put a shift in. I think the best attribute Anthony's got is his link play. I think yeah. he, he comes inside and he links and knits others together real fucking nice. Uh, I think his worst attribute is his finishing and the fact that he's so left foot dominant. I mean, he yeah. will even try and fucking outside of the foot it rather than use yeah, his right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it's annoying. It is annoying. I was chatting to my dad about that and he was saying like, we just have to accept at this point that Anthony is never going to have a right foot. No, what does he use his right foot for? Balancing while yeah. having a piss. Which is That's stupid, it. really. Yeah. It is a bit idiotic. Like, you just think, just work on that for, make that your focus for 12 months yeah. and you will have a serviceable right foot that you can go the other way on. But I do think we've seen a better player in, in, in the last few weeks. Well, he, he, he's turning up and I think that's all you could ask him to do. He's, t he's turning up, he's putting a shift in and that, that will kind of do, I, I guess, mm. for now. The product hopefully will come. There's no yeah. guarantee it'll come, but the product hopefully will, will come from him because I think him and Garnacho on any other day yeah. could walk away with, you know, two or three goal contributions, whether that's goals or assists, minimum. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Garnacho could have easily come away with a goal and assist, yeah. if not two. Anthony the same. Yeah. And you think... You think when he's laying it into McTominay over his shoulder and McTominay just sort of scuffs it with his left foot. Just before we finish, will United finish top four? From what you've seen so far, do you think that that's an option? I think it's going to be very, very, very tight. I think we can, but fuck me, do we need to start putting some consistency together. The fact that it's December the 7th today... Yep. And we saw the first genuinely good performance of the season, in my opinion. I mean, do you agree? Was that the Everton? I Everton thought was, was pretty right. good as well, but it's against it. We allowed it? twenty fucking summit shots oh, to oh, Everton. So I remember I, thinking I, after Everton that was a good game. Yeah. I disagree. Okay. Right. Well, uh, um, on that, on if that's I thought the we were metric, clinical. Then, yeah. Yeah. I thought we were right. clinical, but we allowed fucking Everton twenty. Well, we did like, shots. like last night. We let Chelsea through a lot as well, didn't we? Just nah, but then we fucking, had we had twenty. Nicholas Jackson was terrible. Them two. Yeah. I mean, it, if I'm a Chelsea fan, I'm trying to find receipts. I'm trying to like. Honestly, they were so. And How? also, their midfield. Yeah. Like Fernandez and Casado. I thought they were all right until I watched them. I know. Just got the Tommy giving them a row around. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we absolutely can. Whether we do or not, I think it's too early to say right now. Um, you could expect Villa to drop off a little bit. I mean, mm. tactically, like, Emery's done a mega job. Yeah. Do you think we'll get top I th Spurs? I think Spurs it, is an interesting one. I think um, what happens with them? I think Spurs and Villa could drop off. Mm. I'm still curious as to this fifth place because you're going over it. Yeah. And I think uh, is it seven out of the last eight years? Something like that. If yeah. you look at the coefficient, we would fifth place would have got your Champions League football for for England. Yeah. So if that's the case, and unfortunately, it looks like Arsenal and City are going to do well in the Champions League. Maybe us and Newcastle going out in the first round hurts it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Though. We've, we've still got but I feel to like worry about, if, yeah. if fifth is a, an option, I fancy us to get fifth. Yeah, me too. Right, that's going to be all from us. Make sure you check out Green King Sport. The link is in the description. Make sure you go and download the app. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Jay. This has been Off the Bar, sponsored by Green King Sport. See you in a bit.